This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is the lock that is distributed with many Smith & Wesson firearms. Like many of the locks that are distributed by lock companies, this one is a Chinese-made 30mm flexible shackle padlock. According to the paperwork that came with it, it is the Regal Model R15SC. Now if you have a sharp memory, that company and model number may be familiar because it is the same company that makes the lock that Beretta distributes. It just has a different color plastic outer housing and a different guard on that flexible shackle. These locks are designed to be used by opening up the action of the gun and then threading this long flexible shackle through the frame and action rendering the lock inoperable. Let me show you how we do that right now. First thing we do is insert the key and when we turn it, one end of that flexible shackle will come out. Then we have to open the action of the firearm and remove the magazine. At that point, we can insert one end of this long flexible shackle through the frame and action of the firearm, insert the end of that shackle back into the lock body, and then this firearm is locked up. As you can see, by going through the action and the frame of the gun, it prevents the action from closing, which in turn stops the gun from firing, and it also prevents you from loading a magazine. So this gun is effectively disabled right now. The question then becomes, how difficult is it to open this up? Before we get to picking, I received a question on one of my other gun lock videos about how difficult these locks are to bypass. And I was embarrassed to say at the time that I didn't know, I really didn't look for any bypasses. Well, I did look at this one pretty carefully and I was unable to find an effective way to bypass it. The lock is not shimmable and even though this does not have a shielded keyway, I was not able to insert a bypass tool that was able to actuate the locking mechanism. So as far as bypasses go, this lock seems to be all right. Let's see how it holds up to picking. Looking at this lock, we can see it has a really tiny little keyway that presents some problems if we are trying to get both a tension wrench and a pick into that keyway. There really isn't enough room for both. However, I do have this really small little tension wrench. It's part of the Peterson Flat 5. It has serrations on that tip that allow me to grip that keyway even though we have very little purchase in it. So let me do that right now. Okay, and that appears to be holding on just fine. And then we'll pick it with a Peterson standard hook in 18 thousandths. Okay, one is loose, two is loose. Click out of three, four is binding, gotta click there. Back to the beginning, one's loose. Two's binding, got a click. Should just be number one now, so let's go back to him. And it appears that we have the lock open. Yep. Okay, once we pick it open, we can take that flexible shackle out and the firearm is operable again. So, as you can see, it really doesn't take a whole lot to pick into these. It's four standard pins really no complications other than the fact that it has a really tiny keyway, which is probably not something that's going to stop even most novice pickers. So probably not something that I would recommend for anyone to use to protect their firearm from unauthorized access. That's all I have for you today on this lock that is distributed by Smith & Wesson the Regal Model R15SC. If you do have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe, and as always, have a nice day. Thank you.